Capture the Flag is a head-to-head -head networked competition played by the world's top hackers. It's a race to find, diagnose, and fix software flaws in real time in an adversarial environment. It's named after the children's game with flags hidden in forts and distant fields. But here, the environment is made of unexplored code. The flags are secret data, and the players move through security weaknesses to capture flags at network speeds. The game begins when the network is activated and the unexplored code is revealed to the players. Each player controls a defended host, a server, running an identical copy of the unexplored code. At the center is the referee. The referee serves up unexplored code in bundles. New challenge binaries are released to the players throughout the game. Challenge binaries are small, original programs written with one or more vulnerabilities and flags to protect or be captured. Three tasks must be performed by the players to win. Players must protect all their digital flags from opponents by patching the software on their server. Keep the software on their server healthy and functional, and scan for opponent vulnerabilities to capture flags. The referee constantly emits tests to measure whether defended software has been damaged. All flag capture attempts are routed through the referee and mixed with the referee's tests. Many capture the flag contests are played in rounds. At the end of each round, the referee tallies the scores for all of the systems. The game is scored in three distinct areas. Security. Each competitor can defend the code on its server, keeping flags safe. It can patch each challenge binary using generic defenses or a custom patch for each vulnerability it finds. Availability Every program on a server should function normally after being patched. It would be easy to defend software if you could just disable all its functionality. The referee checks that defended software is responding correctly and hasn't been disabled or slowed. Evaluation Every player can program a vulnerability scanner searching for vulnerabilities in opponents and proving these weaknesses to the referee. A successful proof yields a captured flag. The game is Capture the Flag. Points are awarded for captured flags and points are forfeited for damaging the defended software or losing flags. At the end of the game, the competitor with the most points wins. Like most games, Capture the Flag is a game of strategy. What should a player do when she finds a vulnerability? Patch it right away. Don't patch and watch the network. Scan opponents first. Tell no one. Build an obfuscated defense to the issue. These questions of strategy and tactics have been wrestled with by the teams of experts who have played this game for decades. It's a game of analysis, speed, skill, and endurance. It's a game played by the best in the world. It's a game no computer has ever played, requiring skills that have never been effectively automated. On August 4th, 2016, autonomous computers will play Capture the Flag for the first time in history. Who knows what's possible when this game is played at machine speed?